Meals on Wheels of Wake County is busy, continuing to check in on Wake Forest seniors after a COVID-19 exposure shut down the Northern Wake Senior Center on East Holding Avenue. Just because of COVID doesn't mean people aren't in need of food and that's our job, so here we are. We recognize that our senior population is extremely vulnerable when it comes to COVID. And so again, this was done out of an abundance of caution. The center will be closed for at least three days or possibly longer as COVID surges in North Carolina. Duke Raleigh Hospital is among several other hospitals across the triangle that's seeing an uptick in patients testing positive for COVID, but it hasn't impacted operations at this health system nor at UNC Health or Wake Med, according to officials. Now, this is a pattern that is not unusual. The timing of it is a little earlier than we have seen it in some of the previous years, but we do see a pattern with COVID where we see a big spike in the winter, but then we see another spike in the summer. Infection prevention specialist Jessica Dixon says there are still deaths from the virus, so it's important to protect yourself and others. You now you have to remember that first infections go up, and then a couple weeks after that, your hospitalizations start to go up. And then a few weeks after that, your um, severe illness goes up. And then weeks after that, your, your mortality goes up. So there is a new booster that should be coming out this fall that is expected to provide great coverage for the variants that are circulating now. Cindy Bay, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.